In this video, I'm going to show you five free plugins, these ones right here, that you can use in your GarageBand projects right now. Let's go. What we're talking about here is AUV3 plugins. Now that's just a fancy way of saying apps that we download on our iPhone or our iPad that appear here in our audio unit extensions. And this allows us to add these in to our GarageBand projects as effects on our tracks. Does that sound cool? It is cool. And even better than that, I'm not just gonna talk about them, I'm gonna show you how you can use them in a real song. So let's jump in and get started now. Now, as you can see, I already have these downloaded here on my iPhone. If you don't already have these, just go to the App Store and download them. There's links in the description of this video. And then when you go into GarageBand, you go into your plugins and EQ and you do edit, you can tap your plus button, you can go to audio unit extensions and they will all be listed here. If that was too quick for you, don't worry. I'm gonna show you this a bunch of times because we are gonna add all five of these plugins to different tracks in this song right here. Let's jump in and do that now. So to demonstrate these plugins, I wanted to use a very simple song. And what I have here is an eight bar, eight track song that I created as part of an eight bar, eight track challenge over on the GarageBand users Facebook group. At the moment, it sounds a bit like this. I've only got eight little bars to tell you how much I love you. Yes, it's my song called Eight Bars of Love. And yes, it's as cheesy as it sounds. But the beauty part is we've got a bass, we've got a piano, we've got three vocals, a lead and two backing vocals. We've got some drums, we've got a guitar, and we've got an organ. So this gives us a good range of instruments to put these five free plugins, did I mention they're free, to the test. So let's start with our first plugin. The first plugin we're gonna take a look at is the Stereo Lag plugin. So I'm gonna use it on this grand piano here. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like right now. So not bad yet, but a little bit dull and boring now. If we wanna add some stereo width to this, we can use a plugin like Stereo Lag. Let's tap on the mixer icon here and go to plugins and EQ. Now we can tap the edit button and any of these blank slots where we've got the green plus, we can tap on one of those, go to audio unit extensions and scroll down until we find the Stereo Lag. We're gonna tap on that one and now we've added the Stereo Lag plugin. If we tap on the icon here, we're gonna jump into the stereo lag. Now, this is a very simple plugin in that it only has one dial. All we need to do is just slide this to the left to go left, and this is gonna add delay of however many samples or milliseconds to the left, and if we slide it to the right, it's gonna do it to the right. So let's listen to this with, say, 20 milliseconds to the left. We'll hit play. So you can hear there that it's just delaying the left channel by 20 milliseconds. What if we do it to the right? In fact, this time, let's go all the way around to like 100 milliseconds on the right. Take a listen to what this sounds like. So you can hear significant delays being added in there. What we'd probably want is something around about, probably around about 15 milliseconds to the right. Well, let's go 13 and hit, hit play. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, 18. You'd hear there that it does make that sort of slightly weird sound when you're moving it as you're playing it, but that's okay. We'll hit done there. And this is actually now, if we play it back from the start, turn it off, right in the middle, add it back in, a bit wider. So yeah, it's a very simple effect, very simple plugin, but you can see here that if you're using it on pianos, guitars, even vocals, it just helps you add some stereo width. So that is our first plugin, the Stereo Lag. Very simple, but very effective. Let's move on to our second plugin, which is the Fuzz Plus 3. Now you might be thinking, maybe I should use the fuzz on my guitar, and that's a good option here, but I'm actually gonna use it on my vocals because believe it or not, the fuzz used subtly can actually sound good to thicken up some vocals. So we're gonna tap the mixer icon here. We're gonna go plugins and EQ here. We're gonna tap the edit button here, and we're gonna hit the add. Once again, audio unit extensions. This time, we're gonna tap on Fuzz Plus 3 by Audio Damage. Now. 
I'll give you a pre-warning, Fuzz Plus 3 does crash GarageBand a little more than most other ones. And the, the way to get around this is to make sure that before you hit play, you tap on the icon here and you drop this distortion down, you drop the level down and you drop the frequency down a bit. I'd never suggest dialing it in quite as aggressively as it is by default. So let's turn it off entirely, in fact, and let's just hit play and make sure this is going to work uh, by soloing it. I've only got eight little bars. So it's working okay there. We'll just take it off. To tell you how much I love you. So you can hear the vocal there. What I'm going to do is I'm turning Fuzz Plus 3 on and I'm going to hit play and I'm going to gently dial it up here with a little bit of distortion, a little bit of feedback and a little bit of additional level just to give it a little bit of edge. So let's hit play. I've only got eight little bars to tell you how much I love you. Ooh, yes, it's only eight little bars to tell you how much I care. So that's all we really want in this one. We're going to hit done here. If we come back out here, let's just hit play on this one. I've only got eight little bars. And if we turn that one off. To tell you how much I love you. Ooh. And yeah, it's probably just still a little bit down. We need the level to come up a little bit, and we probably just need the frequency to be a little higher, a little bit less feedback. Ooh, yes, it's only eight little bars to tell you how much I. All right, let's bring this back into our mix and see what this vocal sounds like. I've only got eight little bars. Tell you how much I love you Ooh, yes, it's only eight little bars To tell you how much I care All right, that frequency probably needs to come down a little bit there, which is what we've been playing with there. We'll turn the level back up. Let's try this again. Uh, I've only got eight little bars To tell you how much I love you and what you're probably saying is, Pete, it sounded better without the fuzz. You may be right, but you know what? The cool thing is that we can experiment with this stuff. And if you don't experiment, if you don't try, you'll never know. So maybe in hindsight, should have put it on the guitar. That's okay. I wanted to try something cool by putting it on the vocals because you don't always hear fuzz or distortion on vocals. And I think a little bit can work maybe in more of a rocky song than my 60s sort of doo-wop kind of song here. But let's move on. Let's check out our third plugin which is going to be the Rough Rider 2. Now, I've done another complete video all about Rough Rider 2, and we're going to use it on the drums here because you take a listen to these drums. They sound okay, but they're lacking a little bit of punch. Let's hit play. So I wanted a bit of an old school 60s style drum kit sound. I've got quite a bit of reverb and echo on here, but they're just not quite punching through. Now I could come in here and I could go plugins and EQ and I could play around with the compressor and really drive the compressor hard, or I can add in another effect here. So let's try this one here. We'll go in, we'll hit edit. And this time, I don't know why I have fuzz plus, no, I'm on the wrong one. There we go. This time we're going to hit plus here and we're going to go to Audio Unit Extensions, and we're going to go to the Rough Rider 2, also by Audio Damage. And you can see here, if we tap on the Rough Rider 2, here is our dials and our knobs ready to go. Once again, I suggest, you know, dial your mix back a little bit, dial your makeup game back a little bit, because these things can be pretty full on. So before we start playing, we're just going to dial everything back a little tiny bit. And now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to hit play on these drums and see if we can make these drums really pop. Okay, that may be sounding like it's really starting to sort of get in the mix there. Let's bring it back in the mix here, which is what you'd usually do, and mix it in with the rest of our track if we hit play. I've only got eight little bars to tell you how much I love you. Ooh, yes, it's only eight little bars to tell you how much I care. 
I've only got. And what you can see in the middle there is the, the gain reduction that we're getting from this. So audio damage is a compressor, basically, but it's got a little bit of an edge to it. So you can see we're doing a little bit of compression on this one. We'll hit done there. Now what we'll do is we'll just play this back without a Rough Rider 2 on, and then we'll turn it back on. So let's turn it off and hit play. I've only got eight little bars. Back on. Tell you how much I love you. Ooh, yes, it's only Back eight off. little bars to tell you how much I care. And yeah, it might be a little bit too much, so we might need to play around a little bit more with our mix knob here, with our makeup gain that we've got in our compressor, the sensitivity, there's a bunch of settings that we can play with there to get it sounding right. And then of course, we can dial in the volume here as well to make that sound good, which we'll play with as we continue mixing this track. But for a free plugin, you can really hear that it really makes those drums start to pop and push through the mix, which is what we want from our drums in this track. Let's move on to plugin number four, and that is going to be our LRC5 EQ. Now, if you've been using GarageBand for a while, you'd realize that you can come in here to your mixer icon, you can go plugins and EQ, and you've got a visual EQ here. In fact, I've already started playing with the visual EQ on this one, but the problem is if there's a frequency that you want to remove, you don't have a whole lot of finite control here. You've only really got your shelf up the top there, you've got this one down the bottom here, and you've got one band in the middle that's a really wide there so you don't have a lot of control over your EQ what if you want more control well that's where the LRC5 comes into its own now if you're listening to these drums like I was you probably heard that this crash symbol is not sounding too good we didn't want to do that let's hit, hit play and take a listen to just these drums and this crash symbol here So I'm not a big fan of that crash symbol. I want to reduce down the frequency of where that crash is. So we can do that using the LRC5. So what I'll do is I'll tap on the drums, I'll hit the mixer icon here, and then we're going to go plugins and EQ. I'll tap on the edit button again. I'll tap plus, I'll do it down the bottom here because it's an EQ. We want it to be the last thing in our chain. Audio unit extensions, scroll down, and as again, if you've already downloaded the LRC5, it'll be right here ready for you to use. So we'll tap on the icon there. And now look at this. We've got five bands, and if you haven't used this before, another complete video all about LRC5 you can check out up the top and in the description. But what we're going to do here is we can actually move these frequencies left and right, and then we can boost them and cut them. Now at the top here, we've just got a shelf here, so this is probably not what we want to do. What we could do is just lower this down. So let's take a listen to that crash symbol if we just say removes a lot of high frequencies by doing this. Yeah, that's okay, but it's kind of dulling out those uh, those hi-hats. In fact, if anything, we probably want a little bit more hi-hat, so we'll boost that up there. But it's really that sound that we have there that we really don't want to hear so much. So what do we do about this? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select this one here and sort of move this around and find where that frequency is worse by sort of sliding around like this. And then I'm going to actually cut it. So let's bring it up to start with. We'll play it back and we'll listen and we'll find the frequency we want to reduce. So it's around about there that we don't like. So we don't like that frequency. So all we need to do now is cut it. But the good thing about LRC5 is that we can tap on this and we can not only just use this, but if we spread, if we tap and then spread our fingers apart, you can see we can adjust the cue and we can make it really quite narrow like this. So we can actually make a very precise kind of cut like this. So now if we come back and take a listen. It's kind of subdued that sound and we can make all sorts of really cool and subtle cuts and boosts here in LRC5 that we can't do in our regular EQ. So we're going to hit done on that one. Let's bring it back into our mix and take a listen to the drums as they sound with the rest of our mix now. Of you. Ooh, yes, it's only eight little 
once, so it's probably still a little bit intense. I probably need to do some more work and find the exact, because uh, I wasn't really looking at the frequencies and finding the exact spot, but you get the gist of this one, yeah? You can actually come in here and do some pretty surgical EQ moves with your LRC5 that you can't do with your egg regular EQ. And for the cost of $0, 0 pounds, 0 euro, that is a pretty good deal. So the LRC5, a cool EQ. Let's move on to our final plugin here, which is the DLYM, the Delay Modulator. Now, I could do an entire video all about the Delay Modulator plugin, and I probably will at some stage, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on both the guitar and the organ here, because there's so many different options we have with the Delay Modulator that I'm sure we can find a cool plugin, a cool preset that we can use with both of these. So at the moment, our guitar's a little flat and boring. It sounds like this. We want to add some interest and some depth to this year. So let's hit the mixer icon. We'll hit plugins and EQ. We're going to tap our edit button. Now, again, it's a guitar. So we've only got four slots here, but that's okay. We only need an additional one. We'll tap on the plus here. We'll tap audio unit extensions, and then we're going to slide down to DLYM. And there it is, the DLYM, the delay modulator. We'll tap on the little Z here, and we'll jump in here. Now, because we're on the iPhone, you can see here it's cut off a few of our a few of our knobs here, so it's uh, it's not perfect. Not every AUV3 plugin will look perfect, but the beauty part of DLYM is that you can spend all day just playing around with the preset. So in the bottom left here, where it says default, if we tap on that one, we've got all of these sounds here, and you can see that yes, you can save in your own, and you can add them as custom presets. But let's just use the predetermined presets for now. Now, what sort of thing do we want with our guitar here? Well, we want a little bit of a probably some delay here so what do we want to use let's use a gentle repeater delay because what we have in here we've got a whole bunch of stuff in the delay modulator we've got a flanger component we've got delay we've got a bunch of things we can change in here and again I'm not going to spend all the time going into it here but again maybe it's a subject for a future video but let's just hit play and see what it sounds like with this preset added We'll turn it off and back on. You can see it's, you can hear that it's given us some width that's given us that nice delay sound that's in there. Very, very cool. Now, a little bit of a pro tip here. If we wanted to add another one, we can hit edit again. We can hit the plus and we can add another instance of DLYM to this same track. Now, be careful with this. You can layer it up and make it sound terrible. But let's just say we wanted to experiment here. And after that delay, we wanted to add something else. So let's just say, let's just go with another a subtle one. What about a slow phase? over the top of that. Let's just hit play and see what this sounds like. I actually really like that. Let's see what that sounds like back in our mix here. I've only got eight little bars to tell you how much I love you. Ooh, yes, it's only... So yeah, it gets a little bit lost in there. So maybe we'll need to bring out the presence, might need some EQ on this one. But you can tell that, yeah, you're just adding that in. If we turn that off and we hit play. I've only got eight little bars. Turn it back on. Tell you how much I love you. Ooh, yes, it's only... It just lets it sit back in the mix and you can you can see here you can experiment with these things you can change them up you can do some very cool things and again i just wanted to show you that if you've got the additional slots here you can have more than one instance of the same plugin on the same track and finally i just want to add something to this organ track because i really like organ tracks and i like them to sound their best let's hit play on this one So it's already sounding pretty cool, but let's just add in a little bit of the DLYM flair. We'll go edit, we'll add plus, we'll go to audio unit extensions, DLYM, and let's just go a little bit nuts here. We'll go over to here. What's something that we can try? What about a, <laughs> what about a flapper phase? What is this going to sound like? Right. So I wanted to show you that on purpose, you can be sure of that, to show you that you've got some pretty cool sounds in here that are probably more suited to your electronic and experimental type music. Uh, but let's just go back to a, uh, a delaying delay here and take a listen to this one. Mm -hmm. 
that actually sounds really cool. That's got a really cool sort of church organ vibe to that now that I've added that delay to it. So we'll bring this one back into our mix. I've only got eight little bars. Yes, it's only eight little bars to tell you how much I care. There you go. How cool is this? Five free plugins that we can add here to our tracks make our songs sound even better. A bit of experimentation. You can have some fun mixing these into your own GarageBand tracks. I hope you go ahead and download these, start playing with them, start using them. Why not? They are free and they can help you learn more about all the cool different plugins we have here. There's two more videos linked down below if you want to check out some more about plugins here in GarageBand. Subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the studio live today icon i'll see you on the next video